G'day. Welcome to another curriculum burst. Let's do a curious problem from grade 10. It goes as follows. A majority of the 30 students in Ms. Demina's class, that's a joke, bought pencils at the bookstore. Okay. Each of these students bought the same number of pencils. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the number was greater than one. The cost of a pencil in cents was greater than the number of pencils each student bought. And the total cost of the pencil was $17.71. I don't really know what I just read then. What was the cost of a single pencil in cents? All right. That was a lot to process in the question. I haven't really taken it in at all. But it's about pencils and kids doing all sorts of things where the cost of the pencil was greater than the number of kids who bought pencils. This feels awfully constructed. In fact, it makes me think of a strategy right off the bat, which is second guess the author, strategy number eight. Um, obviously, this is carefully constructed, and I bet something special is going on in this particular problem. So let's see if we can use that to our advantage as we work our way through this. Um, so let's see what's going on. I hope you go through the question again. It's a little bit slow. Maybe as I go through it, I'll try to put in math speak, because I'm often math speak is much simpler than the, all these sentences and words. Okay, here goes. A majority of the 30 students in Ms. Demina's class bought pencils. Okay, so some students bought pencils. We don't know how many, but we know it's the majority of 30. So it wasn't all 30, it was just some majority of 30. All right, let's say uh, the number of students, let's just call it, I don't know, S. And we're told that the majority of the class bought pencils, so S must be at least, what, uh, more than half? So half of 30 is 15, so I guess S is bigger than 15. All right, I guess that's the first sentence in Math Street, that some students, S of them, more than half of them, more than 15. All right, second sentence. Each of these students, students bought the same number of pencils. They're not telling how many. All they're saying is that and this number is greater than one. Right, put that in math speak. Uh, let's say the number of pencils each student bought is, I don't know, n. And we're told that n is bigger than one. All right, second sentence, basically encapsulated in math now. Third sentence. The cost of a pencil in cents was greater than the number of pencils each student bought. Okay, it's going to take me a little moment here. The cost of each pencil, I don't know the cost of each pencil. So let's say the uh, cost of one pencil, let's call it, I know, C for cost. The cost of one pencil, the cost of each pencil was greater than the number of pencils each student bought. Now well, I guess I've got each student buying N pencils, so I say the cost is bigger than N. All right. And the total cost of the pencils was $17.71. Total cost. Do I have that? Well, I kind of do. We have S students each buying N pencils, so the total number of pencils bought is S times N, and each pencil costs C cents, so there's that many pencils each costing C, so I guess the product S times N times C is the total cost of all the pencils that were bought. And we're told this is $17.71. Well, the whole question is, I guess, I've just arranged it in terms of cents, so let's write that answer in terms of cents, that's 1,771 cents. Okay. That's just reading through the question. Nobody gets to the actual question itself, which is what? Uh, what was the cost of a pencil in cents? That is, what's the cost of a pencil? What is the value of C? All right, there's the question in math. Here's like the big bulk piece of information. There's detailed information as well. And we want to find the value of C, the actual number that is C. What on earth am I going to do? Well, second guess the author. There's got to be something special about the number 1771. I bet that's not from thin air. In fact, what we've got, we've got 1771 is factored as a factor of three things. So let me just play with 1771 and see if it factors at all. Um, so let's look for divisors of 1771. I'll just go through the list. I'll be very, very basic because my I don't think too hard. Is it divisible by two? No. Is it divisible by three? Don't know. Uh, let's see. 1800 is a multiple of three, and this is 29 off from being 1800. 29 is not divisible by three. Okay, that's not divisible by three. So by four, no. Divisible by five, ends in a one, no. Divisible by six, no. Surely it's not divisible by seven. Seven is so awkward. Well, let's try. How do I get my brain? Is 1771 a multiple of seven? Well, my, my brain says that 1771 is 1400, definitely multiple of seven, plus what? 371? Uh, 371, what's that? That's a. Uh, the 1400 plus uh, multiple 7 near 37 was 350 plus 21. Oh, 1400 is a multiple 7, 350 is a multiple 7, 21 is a multiple 7. Yes, 1771 is a multiple 7. It equals 7 times something. Times what? Uh, that's 7 times 200, 7 times 50, 7 times 3. I guess that's uh, 253. All right, does 253 factor? 
Oh dear. Oh, oh, oh. I know something about multiples of 11. I'm seeing 2, 3 with the sum 2 and 3, 5 in the middle. Do you know that trick about multiplying by 11? This is 11 times 23. Actually, okay, so a little problem unto itself. Why is multiplying by 11 the same as splitting the number apart and doing the sum in the middle? That's worth thinking about in and of itself. All right, so my little cleverness, I notice is 7 times 11 times 23. And these are primes, and they don't factor any further. Ooh, a product of three numbers equals a product of three primes. And we've got all these restrictions. They might be able to tell me which of these three numbers goes with which of those three primes. I have to think about it, a little bit of thought there, but now I feel like I have hope of making this question fall into place. So try it, keep going with this yourself, and when you're ready, have a look at the essay that goes with this video. Thanks so much. Thanks for watching. For more curriculum inspirations material, go to our website. Lots of great stuff there.